electronics is a key sector. High-end micro and nano electronics is a key enabling technology increasingly underpinning all industrial products and sectors. And that is why Europe needs to be on the map. European know-how, European technology, European companies. The label Airbus of ships is just a shortcut to signal this important goal for our connected continent, not just for manufacturing, but also design and technology in all areas, from wafers growing to 450 millimeters to futures shrinking below 20 nanometers. In May, the Commission launched an ambitious strategy on micro and nano electronics. And since then, we have made a lot of progress in implementing. In July, we proposed a public-private partnership known as Excel, Electronic Components and Systems for European Leadership. And over seven years, this partnership between industry, national governments and the EU will mobilize a total 5 billion euros for research, development and innovation. The focus will be on large-scale federating projects that bridge the gap between developing technology and getting it to market. It builds on our existing successes, like for European pilot lines in manufacturing. I look forward to the EU's national governments endorsing the electronic strategy and formally supporting the Excel partnership within the coming months. I know the industry is ready to invest and I hope that the EU member states will do likewise, because this participation from others is essential, including at national and regional level. Europe has great resources and huge talents. I want to make them count on the global stage we are playing on. Unless we pull those resources, our investments will be subscale, less effective and with lower impact. I don't want to see money down the drain. Let's get our act together. Make no mistake, this is also a challenge to industry, a challenge to actively grasp this opportunity which is, after all, a big step forward for European electronics. By the end of this year, electronics leaders are delivering a strategic roadmap for Europe. A roadmap both ambitious and realistic. The goal is clear, not just to reverse the declining market share of European semiconductors, but to double it by 2020, catching up with the United States. And that is a truly important European project and I'm going to do everything I can to make it come true. We are on schedule, but time is of the essence. Other countries are not sitting idle by. India recently approved a 5 billion euro investment in wafer technology. And the US is aggressively positioning itself for the switch over to 450 millimeter technologies. This is a global race. We can't sleepwalk to the finish line if we don't want to lose. I know the energy to win won't just come from public support, whether EU, national or regional. The bulk needs to be private. This is a technology that will shape our future, our, our world. No doubt about that. If such a sector is not attracting enough investment, we have a serious problem. So I want your views. I'd like to hear what you think. By 2020, where do we want Europe to be? Which areas should we strive to lead in? And what do we need to do now to ensure we get there? I've made it my absolute call for Europe to become a connected continent. And electronics is a priority for me, not because I like playing favorites, but because it is a strategic sector, one that transforms enables and stimulates innovation across the entire economy. We need to get smarter. Our industrial and economic future depends on it. I want to see a vibrant European digital economy underpinned by fast digital networks, EU-level frameworks and a healthy electronics industry that can operate at global scale. I hope I can count on your contributions and your support.